don't be afraid to go to the clearance rack. You gonna get you gonna get more for your money. You go to the clearance rack, he ain't gonna know the difference. everybody I'm back again with another video and this video is going to be a Valentine Day gift idea for your new boo mm -hmm. for your new boo why is my thing showing I know this is a video that new people are gonna come see this stuff and they get, get out my video y'all gonna have to see this cord cuz I can't get this cord it's because they got his shoe everywhere and as y'all can see I don't have a new boo he got his shoes sitting over here. They got the stuff all in the way. Anyway, y'all gonna see this little thing. Okay, cool. All right, so this video is going to be a Valentine's Day gift idea for your new boo. Okay, for your new boo. Because when you got a new boo, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on him because, you know, he's still in that probation period where you like, I don't know. I ain't finna spend a whole bunch of money on you, you know? Mm. Mm. Like, you got to make sure that you gonna get your return on your investment. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't want to spend too much. That's, that, that's too much risk. You spend a whole bunch of money. Too much risk. Uh-uh. It's a possibility that you gonna lose your, your investment. Uh-uh. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna, we gonna get some stuff that's still gonna be a, a good gift, but very inexpen inexpensive. The very first thing that I have on my list is cologne. Everybody want to buy cologne. Cologne is actually a good thing to buy your new boo because who's going to benefit off of smelling the cologne? You. So you going to go pick this out personally. You already know what it smells like. So you ain't got no situation like, what's that new cologne you got on? It smell like, mmm. Ooh, it smell like an old man. Mm -mm. You ain't got to worry about that because you handpicked this out. But cologne can get very expensive. So what you want to do, what you want to do, let me tell you. Ooh, excuse me. What you want to do, you want to go to TJ Maxx, go to your TJ Maxx, go to a Ross, go to Walmart, go to Target, wherever you want to go, like a department store type of, well, I'm saying it wrong. Cause you don't want to go to the Dillard's. We ain't going to Dillard's. We ain't going to Macy's. We ain't going to them because they they, they too expensive. We want to go somewhere that has inexpensive cologne where you can find something that's in your price range, okay? And if you can't find any cologne in your price range, they do have those kind of like, you know how like women have perfume and then we have like body mist well men have cologne and then they have like those they kind of look like x sprays but they're actually made by the um just say you want to get him some calvin klein or something they have like a calvin klein uh body spray that you can get for a man and he could just spray on himself real quick you know it don't last that long but it still gets the job done and it's uh very inexpensive so you can get one of those and you can find those they're usually like it uh, a Marshalls, uh, you can go to TJ Maxx and find those, you can go to Ross and find those. They usually have them, I think they do have them at like Walmart and Target as well. So yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, the next thing that I have on my list is a nice shirt. Uh, any woman likes a man with a nice shirt, like a, a nice crisp shirt. It, it just looks really good on them. And then so like, this is benefiting you as well because when you take your selfies, he gonna have this nice little shirt on. You be like, yeah, I bought that. I bought that. I got that. I bought that. But um, you also don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. Now, um, a lot of dudes are different. There's some dudes that they like name brand stuff, and some dudes that don't pretty. They don't really care for name brand stuff. So you just have to make that uh, decision on you know you know your boo. You know, if he okay with City Trends, you go to City Trends. If he okay with wearing name brand stuff, I got you. So this is what you gonna do. You gonna go, you gonna go to them stores that I just told you before, 
uh, you're gonna go to like a TJ Maxx, you're gonna go to a Ross, you'll go to a Marshalls, and they will have those like polo types of shirt, polo Ralph Lauren shirts. Um, they will have those there. And they don't cost as much as if you had went to like dealers because those polo shirts and dealers, y'all, I'm not lying. They like $90. And who finna spend $90? No, 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 no. We're not investing in him like that. No, we're not going to do that, okay? You're going to go to your TJ Maxx or something. They might have a shirt that's like $20 in there. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's a good price. And then do not be afraid to go to the clearance rack. Do you, listen. Don't be afraid to go to the clearance rack. You gonna get you gonna get more for your money. You go to the clearance rack, he ain't gonna know the difference. Go to the clearance rack, see what they got on that clearance rack. Girl, you might find a shirt for ten dollars. And then you be like, oh, I got some more money to spend. Let me get him this uh this little Calvin Klein spray. You, you know, 15, you get up to the count of fifteen ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just saying, like, don't be afraid to go to the clearance rack because I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. Whenever I go to the store, that's the first place I go to the clearance rack. I want to see what's on clearance, okay? So yeah, that that would be your best option if you want to find like a really nice shirt that's inexpensive. So that that's what route you want to go, you know? All right. So the next thing that I have on this list now, um, this is not something that you can get by itself you can actually get this and couple this with another thing that i have on this list so i put on here that you can buy snacks now the reason why i say this is because um when you're early on in your relationship or you early on like you getting to know your boo or whatever like Y'all talk about this stuff. You talk about what's your favorite color, what what you like to drink, and uh, what what kind of food you like, what restaurant you like, and all this. Like you getting to know each other, and so like at this point, it's more of being thoughtful more than anything. So um, for you to get some snacks that he has talked about before that he really likes, or you know the snacks that he buys, whether it's healthy snacks or non-healthy snacks, whatever it is, if you take the time to actually go and get those things for him, tie it up in a little bag, put a little, put a little something on, make it look nice and give it to him, he will really appreciate that, I promise. So like, you don't really have to spend that much. I don't care if it's like a 20 ounce bottle of Coke. You know what I'm saying? If you notice that he drink Coke all the time, he always got a 12 pack in there or whatever. I don't even care if it's beer, y'all. If like, if you notice that that's what he like and you go get it for him, he gonna love it. I'm just saying, he gonna love it. Next on the list here is, now y'all, you gotta be careful with this one. You gotta be real careful. And what I put on here is video games. Wait, let, wait, let, let me explain, let me explain. Okay, so a lot of dudes are into video games, which is cool, that's cool, but you got to be aware of what you getting yourself into if you get your dude a video game. So, let's start here first. So, first of all, these video games cost about $59.99, y'all. So, uh, 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 we ain't spending that much. Like, if y'all really, y'all really uh, serious in y'all relationship, go ahead, go get the game, girl, whatever. But, like, if y'all early on in y'all relationship, I don't think that, you know, if you want to spend $60, you can. But I wouldn't spend $60 on a video game. So, what I suggest is taking your ass to GameStop, you ask them, okay, what game's up? What's hot? You ask them what's hot, what's hot right now, right? And they'll tell you, if you notice that he play games a lot, if you notice that he play basketball games or whatever, I mean, like, you know, like, what type of game he like playing. You'll see him playing some type of game or whatever. Go in there and ask him what's hot. Then you ask them what's used, okay? Ask them what's used because used is going to be cheaper than the new price and they're going to play it anyway, okay? They're going to play it anyway. If it's brand new or not, they're going to play it, okay? They're going to play it. Now, the reason why I said that you got to be careful with this is because um, some dudes 
uh, play video games excessively, okay? So this will be an all day thing. So you don't wanna feed that if you already know that he'll spend like hours and hours and hours playing video games. So why would you buy him a, another video game to get him to play that even more? And now you mad because he ain't even paying attention to you because he playing video games. So you gotta be careful about that. You gotta be careful. Now, another thing that you can do also, if you don't want to spend it, you don't want to go to the GameStop and ask them and end up getting a game that he don't like, you can always get a gift card. You can always get a gift card and he can put that towards his new game that he won't, you know, because it, it, it probably ain't going to buy the whole game if you put $20 on there or whatever, depending on whatever game that he wants to get. But you can always do that. Or you can always get him like the PlayStation Network card. Or you can get him like an Xbox Live car. You can get it for one month or something like that. I think it's like $12.99 or $24.99 or something like that. Whatever. Like if you you know that he likes to play online and stuff, get him one of them cars so he can get online or whatever. He'll like it. Next. All right. So the next thing that I have on here are shoes. And no, we are not talking about Jordans, okay? Because they cost too much. Nope, nope, not get him no Jordans. He can buy that himself because there's too much of an investment, okay? So what you would want to get him, you can get him some nice little Nike slides. They only like $20. You can go to Shoe Carnival and get those. Um, shoe Department, I think they have them at Rack Room Shoes. They sell them at Kohl's. They sell them just about everywhere. You can get you some of those. You know what size he wear? Give him some nice little um, Nike slides, Adidas slides, Puma slides, whatever kind of slides that he like, okay? And if he if he ain't big on brands, you go to Walmart and get him some slides with no name on them, okay? But you can get him some of those. You can also get him some socks. I know um, Steve likes Nike Elite socks, so those socks are expensive. They like $15 a pair of socks. But anyway, I digress. You can get him some, some nice little socks to go with it. I suggest, like, if he really likes Nike, get him some Nike um, some Nike slides. Get him one of those little packs of Nike socks. Bam, there you go. All right, so the next thing that I have on here is a, um, like a little small Google Home or a Bluetooth speaker. Now, Bluetooth speakers used to be very expensive like a couple of years ago, but they're not as expensive now as they used to be. I know that you could pretty much find a Bluetooth speaker just about anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, Target, everywhere you could find one. If you noticing that your boo is taking his phone in the bathroom when he take his shower because he want to listen to his music or whatever, now y'all know that that's not good anyway because the steam from the shower can get like it can get in your phone and give your phone water damage even though your phone hasn't been in water so that's a true statement y'all true statement so if you noticing that he doing it be like no boo i got you i'm gonna get you this bluetooth speaker you leave your phone on the bed and then you get in the shower and you listen to your music that way okay so yeah um that would be a really good option as well all right so the next thing that i have on this list here is chocolate now, um, every, everybody, well, just about everybody likes candy, okay? Just about everybody likes candy. You know your boo like candy. Get him some chocolate. If you know that he like chocolate covered strawberries, girl, make him some if you know how to do it. If you know how to do it. Only if you know how to do it. Only if you know how to do it because trust me, it is an art to making chocolate covered strawberries because some of this stuff out here be looking like doo-doo. I ain't even gonna lie. It look like little turds. So, um... Make him some chocolate covered strawberries. Be a little creative, girl. Get you some some chocolate covered pineapples and and all that. Like like he'll like it. It's food. He'll eat it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you don't necessarily have to get the um, when I say chocolate, you don't have to get the heart shaped chocolate. You ain't gotta get the little heart shaped chocolate. You don't have to do that. You can go 
and and just get the regular square boxes of chocolate go get him that this probably gonna be cheaper anyway because they rack up the price on the heart-shaped chocolate anyway just for valentine's day so we trying to save money here you can go over there to the regular candy section get him the little small boxes of chocolate or if you know what type of candy he like if you know that your boo love snickers he loves snickers Go get him some Snickers, girl. Don't go over there and get that big thing. It's more packaging than it is chocolate in the thing. Go get him some regular Snickers from over there. Tie them together and make it look cute. Boom, there you go. Next. The next thing that I have on this list here, cook dinner for your boo. Now, okay, we're gonna stop right here. Now, when I say cook dinner for your boo, if you know that you can't cook, don't be cooking no dinner for your boo. Now, it's a lot of places that you can go. You can get you can get takeout or whatever, and then you can bring it to the house and have it look all pretty and stuff. Put your little candles up be like, boo, I made you dinner. You ain't got to take me out. I got you, boo. I got you. So, that's only if you know how to cook. So, you can fix one of his favorite meals. Um, or something that you know that he likes. If your boo love chicken, girl, why don't you fry him up some chicken, make him some baked chicken, or whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. You cook him a nice little meal. Have it all ready for him. Boom. There you go. Next. All right, so, the last thing that I have here is kind of like, just a small list of different things that you can actually get your boo. So basically, this is what I'm saying. And I said this earlier in the video. When you're early on in your relationship, you're getting to know each other. So at this point, it's pretty much just being thoughtful. Like letting him know that you actually listen to the things that he talks about and you pay attention to things that he um, that he does and, and, and stuff like that. So with that being said, the things that I have listed over here, over here, things I have listed here are like, if your boo drink coffee and your boo got a Keurig, girl, why don't you just get, get him some, like, get him some K-Pods, girl. Get him some, some nice little K-Pods and you could couple that with another thing that you got. Like, it, it would be kind of weird if you just bought him a little box of K-Pods. Well, live your life there. But anyway, if you know that he loves coffee, why don't you get him a gift card to Dunkin' Donuts or get him a gift card to Starbucks or something like that. Do something like that. That's kind of neat. You know? All right. The next thing that I have on here, if your boo is really into, like, nutrition, fitness, and all that other stuff, all that other stuff like that, girl, buy him a thing of his favorite whey protein shake. The big thing of uh, protein shake stuff get him one of them girl get him one of them um because i think them things are expensive anyway but like probably i don't know how much they cost like 20 dollars or something like that get him his favorite thing he'll love you girl for doing stuff like like boo you paid attention to me you know that i like the, hey this is my favorite little protein shake or whatever get him something like that and if you if he really is into the gym girl get him some some gym necessities get him like get him some new basketball shorts or get him a new shirt to work out in get him um what did i put on here get him a new gym bag like you could find a gym bag at like ross or marshall's or something they got nike gym bags in there they got adidas gym bags in there get him a new gym bag girl i mean i mean that's just being thoughtful all right, the other thing that you could get him, if you know that your boo is into hats, girl, get him a hat. It don't matter what kind of hat it is. If it's a fedora, if he like fedoras, girl, get him a fedora. If he like snapbacks, get him a snapback. If he like regular baseball caps, get him a baseball cap. If he into sports, get him a, a hat with his favorite sports team on there. It's easy. Go on to, like, I wouldn't say go on to the website. It's just like four days, three days until Valentine's Day, girl. You're going to have to take your ass to the store. Go to the store and get him one of those um, hats from one of his favorite teams. Get him a hoodie from his favorite team. 
or whatever. Like those are just thoughtful things. And you know that he liked this thing. He probably doesn't talk to you about stuff that he feel like that you're not into if it's sports or something like that. But if you notice that he likes a certain uh, sports team, then you could just get him something like that. It's very thoughtful and inexpensive. All right, so another thing that you can also get him, I talked about gift cards uh, before, but you can always do the gift card thing. You can give him like a little $20 gift card to Best Buy. I give him a little $20 gift card to um, Starbucks or whatever. Any type of place that you think that he would like the gift card to, that would be nice. And also, you can get him a little um, Apple Music gift card. I think they have them at the store where you can pay for like a one month subscription for Apple Music, which is good, y'all, because y'all know that I make a playlist for Apple Music. I leave all my playlists down in the description box below. But if you know that your boo love listening to music, that would be a really good gift to give him. Give him a subscription to Apple Music. So, yeah. So, I think that's everything off my list here. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything, uh, if you know of anything that I may have missed um, in this video, please link it. I mean, not link it. Comment down below anything that you feel like that I missed in this video. And also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because we have a lot of fun around here. And what was I going to say? Yeah, my, my Valentine's Day playlist will be down in the description box below. And I'll see everybody in my next video.